be Congresswoman Griffin. But hearing after hearing about anti-Semitism and nothing about Islamophobia, nothing about anti-Palestine, nothing about people like us who have lost jobs because we've criticized Israel. Are you going to do one of these on the issue of Islamophobia? We haven't figured out our appearance schedule yet. So we have professors who've been fired because so they Mr. have spoken Tyler, out. Talk, Congressman, yep. we have professors who've been fired because they have spoken out against Israel. Are you going to do a hearing about that? Why is it so one-sided? Why do you only talk about anti-Semitism? Do you understand what is going on in this country for people who are critical of a genocide? Do you understand that? Are you going to do something about it? You know, I'm sick as a Jew that the Jewish community and those members of Congress are not doing anything. Congresswoman Manning, you're not running for office again. You're going out on the supporting genocide. Now you've got to run away from us because we want to talk about attacks that we have received because we support Palestine. Are you going to do any hearings about the attacks on people who are against genocide? and the students who have been attacked or lost their jobs at universities because they are supporting justice for Palestinians? Congressman, are you going to do a hearing on that, or is it only anti-Semitism that concerns you? Congressman, look me in the eye. As a Jew, I'm asking you, will you do something about the attacks on Islamophobia, about the attacks on people who care about children in Gaza who are against genocide? Are you going to do a hearing on that. Maybe God is with us keeping this elevator going so you can listen. So we were in this hearing of the workforce subcommittee of the education committee that was holding a hearing about anti-Semitism and one of our Code Pink activists uh, who is Israeli, Shlomo, got up to say something before the hearing even started to say that the best way to counter anti-Semitism would be to stop the genocide and he was kicked out of the hearing, almost arrested. And we say this because it's so important to understand how they have had hearing after hearing after hearing on anti-Semitism, none about Islamophobia, anti-Arab hate, none about attacks on people who are calling out Israel. Uh, and yet, in one more of the anti-Semitism hearings, somebody who gets up to say something about the genocide is thrown out of the hearing.